Hey, welcome back to Retail Tycoon, where today, well, we are going- Oh, don't you- How dare you walk through my intro? You- You're lucky you're just a little kid, otherwise you do not know what I do to you- Oh, what the hell's happening here? <laughs> anyway, right, uh, today, I kind of have a bit of a- <clears throat> A focus on something that has technically been costing us a lot of money. Hey, hey Ryan, what are you doing? That's- you're not really- that's not gonna help us much. I don't think you can monitor the cars for robbers as they come in down this road. Please can you, like, go into the store and do your job? Uh, and well, Ryan's job is exactly what I'm talking about, because if we go into our stats here, you can see we have had $75,000 worth of stock stolen from our store. And now, okay, admittedly, out of, what, 4.19 million, that may not seem like too much, but I'd rather not, uh, you know, have that money being stolen from us because 75,000 more, I mean, imagine we could get like two or whole more parking spaces for that money, and in fact parking spaces is something we need to do, so you know what, today I'm actually not going to buy new space back there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place our parking spaces right at the front here because well it's kind of been a like an area of tarmac here anyway for a while so it kind of makes sense to fill it with parking spaces i think at least uh you, you can tell me your opinions in the comments down below yeah engagement anyway uh now we need to actually get to work on the security system in here because well okay at the moment uh we have these security gates uh well, all our exits, I actually only saw these ones like this morning before I start recording, but we have them now, so we have them. Um, that's a good thing. I also should probably add another exit here because people have to like go from, say, this checkout at the end, walk all the way down here through the door, if I could actually get through the door, and down to like their parking spaces over here, which is probably the reason why no one's actually parking back. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, she really... Don't let me prove my point here, do you? Thank you. Uh, anyway, so, let's go into build mode real quick. And now the only other thing other than these security gates, which I don't really see anywhere else we could put, other than, like, just starting to put them in the middle of aisles and stuff, which doesn't seem to really make that much sense to me. Uh, because I don't think they work like that, but... What we can do is go here and security cameras, right? So there's the regular 90 security camera that, oh my god, minus 10 decoration. That is awful. Um, then there's the dome 90 and the dome 180. So, okay, we're gonna lose 10 decoration, whatever one we put in. So I think we do probably the dome 180s because they covered way more space. And that's kind of going to be quite important to us in terms of protection. So, let's go from the front to the back. Uh, we'll start, we'll just put one there. And I'm trying to sort of use these kind of sparingly while making sure everywhere that a robber could be is kind of quite well covered. So, uh, we're going to, let's make them all face the same direction. Because otherwise we're going to have like two next to each other and it's just going to look a bit weird, I think. Uh, so, right, we'll put another one here and put another one there. Yep. Um, and then, well, obviously this is the aisle that kind of needs covering the most by these security cameras. So, we should probably make sure we've got this very well covered. Uh, you know, we... Uh, we'll put... Yeah, we'll put them in the middle here. I think that's going to look the nicest, although our decoration score doesn't care about what looks good, it cares about not having security cameras placed down, but, well, this is kind of a necessary thing for us to do, so we don't really have much of a choice here. This aisle should be still covered by these, I think. Uh, It's not perfect, but it should do the job. And now the music department, what do I do here? Because can't place them inside the wall, I'm guessing. But I also can't really place them anywhere else without it not covering about half of the whole, you know, section, which seems kind of pointless. Alright, uh, so let's, let me just put one here, 
I'm going to say, and another one here. That should do it, I think. So, yeah, the security, okay, the security cameras, that they, <laughs> they don't look the worst, but I can't say they look incredibly beautiful either. Uh, and, well, our decoration, to be fair, our decoration score doesn't actually matter that much, because, well, it was on, like, half a star before, so it's, it's dropped a little bit. Uh, you know, it's not... It's not well changing for us because well, it was already bad in the first place. We've just made it worse. Um. Anyway, now the next thing I actually want to do this episode is make the robbers a new place to escape, pretty much. Um, because I am planning on making the upstairs. Well, I say the upstairs. Obviously, we're not doing the entire upstairs this episode because that's like, well, just everything we haven't got in stock yet. So let's just carve a nice big hole in the roof. Uh, we'll we'll patch it up later. But essentially, the reason I want this is just so when we're placing these stairs down, we don't have to worry about uh running out of space upstairs or anything. So let just quickly right. So we'll put a down escalator here, and right next to it, we'll go and put an up escalator. I think is that. That is right, right? What now? Why is that not placed? There we are. Okay, uh, good. Now, behind it, right, how much space do we have left, actually? We have not much, really. Wait, is it? Does our place, like, as close to the front as possible, right? And let me check something quickly. Uh, oh, right, now place placed wrong, that's why. Okay. I I know what I'm doing now, believe it or not, <laughs> um, but I, I do. Right, so, okay, we've got two tiles behind there, and then should be able to, you know, let's place the lift here facing this way, and then I think it still works if we place the lift upstairs going that way. Uh, we'll find out later when we actually start using the second floor, but for now, we're just going to do that and that. And I think that's about all that actually needs to do. I don't, I might just fill in this entire, yeah, let's just replace this. Oh God, okay. Uh, it, we might as well. We'll just fill in this entire floor now with concrete. Uh, Just so, well, when we get around to it in the future, we don't actually need to go like, Slowly changing it. Oh my god, this is okay. This is costing a lot of money for just floor type changing. Uh, oh, someone did someone just go in the elevator? There's there's nothing up here. I mean, well, there's oh, uh, oh my god, Ryan, go downstairs. There are no criminals up here, Ryan. You, oh my god, Ryan. We'll just hope Ryan eventually comes to his senses. I don't know. We, I feel like we should probably... I, mean, I didn't place the floor over here, right? Yeah, no, good. We should probably go workers and let's hire a couple new security guards because that's like the one other thing we can really do to stop us from being robbed. There we are. We've got new security guards right here who are just walking through. Why? That's not helping us, Donald. Unless that's like a criminal's car that you're stopping from moving, which... I severely doubt, but in which case, fair enough. Uh, so, right, yeah, we've got this new second floor sorted now, and well, we hopefully, actually, are the security cameras working? So, at the moment, we've got a security guard here who's doing nothing, a security guard here who's also doing nothing, and a security guard on the roof that's doing nothing. Oh, and another security guard out here who's doing nothing. Look at the efficiency we have here in the store. This is amazing. I, I, we are just going to be raking it in. And like, every criminal who ever comes anywhere near us is going to be stopped instantly by our amazing security team. Was that? No, it wasn't. Oh my god. This is... How... Is there actually any way to get your security guards to actually do their jobs in this? Please, like, someone tell me. Because I... Our security guards just seem to be doing nothing ever. Like, it's literally... All they really need to do is just keep going up and down these aisles looking for criminals. Like, just along here, back. I mean, they did. There was a point. I, I'm i sure if you go back through the other videos, you will see a point 
where that's what our security guards actually did, but now they just don't. It's annoying, and I'm starting to rant about this, and uh, I don't know. Okay, go downstairs, please. I'm begging you. I just want to not have my store be absolutely trampled on by criminals all the time. Although, to be fair, Trish Dolan hasn't gone up at all. But, you know what? I I could call this a success. Mainly out of delusion. Oh, there's a criminal there. Let's, you know, let's follow this criminal around. See what happens if he gets arrested, right? So he's coming over here. He's walking down the aisle. And he's looking at the microwaves. Pretty big purchase here. If this gets stolen, we're going to lose a lot of money. And he's just picked one up. Security camera probably just buzzed there, I'm not sure. Uh, and now, if we... Oh, he's looking at the toaster ovens now as well. Is is a security guard going to come over? Come on, he's giving you plenty of time. He's getting greedy. Oh, so he's just... What the hell? He's just... Where? Security guard didn't even do anything. There was no security guard anywhere nearby. He just went, he just got arrested. <laughs> you know what? That works for me. Uh, I I think we'll we'll accept that as well a compromise. Oh, this isn't happening, is it? No, there's not two of them. Oh my god! There's two of them in this goddamn revolving door. What is your problem? Literally, it says on the wiki that bus p people can't be robbers either. There's no point in them standing here. They only, like, could just be people coming from the car park or whatever, admittedly, but there's going to be about two people coming from the car park in here. And my chances are, well, there's two security guards standing here, none of them are going to be robbers. What's the point? Oh my god. This is... <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I... I give up, so uh, thanks for watching if you watched this far through the video, you probably enjoyed it at least a little bit. Why not check out the playlist on screen right now, or hey, maybe even subscribe so you can find out what happens in the next video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye!